Well, non-Hodgkin lymphoma is a kind of a malignancy of lymphocytes or parts of your immune system. And uh, lymphomas typically are B cell lymphomas, but 10% of patients have peripheral T cell lymphoma. Uh, there are many different histological types, so it's really a lumping of all of those diseases together. Not as common as the B cell lymphomas, but commonly difficult to treat. Uh, really for two reasons. One is those diseases tend to be a little more resistant uh, to therapy. Many of them are diagnosed a little later because their presentations can be atypical or unusual. Uh, and additionally, the tools we have to actually treat the patients tend to be a little more rudimentary than B cell lymphomas, in large part because we haven't had antibodies to target the malignant cell. So all told, uh, peripheral T cell lymphoma remains a challenge not a common one, but one that certainly is in need of new therapies. For many years, uh, peripheral T-cell lymphomas have really been treated based on what we knew from B-cell lymphomas. So the standard therapy for B-cell lymphomas became CHOP chemotherapy and then subsequently R-CHOP chemotherapy with the addition of rituximab. Clearly rituximab didn't have a use in T-cell lymphomas, so CHOP chemotherapy has been the backbone. There have been a lot of people over the years that have debated whether that truly is the best backbone, but I think in the absence of other more compelling data, that's been kind of the way in which we've built therapy. And so commonly, the addition of other chemotherapies to the CHOP backbone, or autologous stem cell transplant done after CHOP chemotherapy, or the attempt to add other antibodies to CHOP chemotherapy have been strategies that have been tried moving forward and trying to improve the outcome of patients with T-cell lymphoma. Really to date, uh, we've had limited success. Many agents that have been added to CHOP chemotherapy over the years have been unsuccessful in really creating a better outcome for patients with peripheral T-cell lymphoma.